Eureka, Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 6. Measure and compare lengths using centimeters and meters. Psst! Over here! Hi! I'm glad you're back. I'm whispering because I have a very special surprise. I am working hard to get ready for a birthday party. That's right. It's my mom's birthday, and I want to throw a huge birthday party. I even bought this special teal paper to make birthday invitations on. As I was looking at it, though, I started to get a little worried. I'm not sure it's going to fit in the envelopes that I bought to mail. I need to measure this side. We're going to call it side A. And this side. We're going to call it side B. Let's look at this birthday party invitation. Remember, we've been using different tools to measure with. We have our centimeter cube, our centimeter ruler, and our meter stick from yesterday. For this particular measurement, I'm going to use my centimeter ruler. Here it is. Let's start with side A. I've lined up side A with my ruler and made sure that it's as close to the end and even as possible. Looking at that centimeter ruler, how many centimeters long is side A? Look closely. Can you tell? If you said seven centimeters, you're right. Side A is about seven centimeters long. Now we need to move our centimeter ruler over and measure side B. Go ahead. Take a look. How long is side B of my invitation? What did you come up with? Did you say that side B is about 12 centimeters long? You're right. Side B is about 12 centimeters long. Well, looking at this information we have now, I can tell which side is the longer side and which side is the shorter side. Which side is longer? You got it. Side B is longer. Now, I want to look back at my invitation because I want to know the difference between side A and side B. I want to know, well, how much longer is side B than side A? I know that it's longer, but I don't know how much longer it is. So we need to bring back my centimeter ruler. Here it is. This time when we measure side A, I'm going to put a little mark on my centimeter ruler for the length of side A. And remember, we said that it was about seven centimeters long. Then I'm going to move that centimeter ruler over and now we need to measure side B. You'll notice that my mark from side A is still on my centimeter ruler at seven centimeters because that's about how long side A was. Looking again at side B, we said that side B was about 12 centimeters. That's where we're going to put the mark for side B. Now we have marked our centimeter ruler for both side A, right here at 7, and side B, right here at 12. The strategy we're going to use to see how much longer side B is than side A is the count on strategy. This is just one strategy you could use. Let's start with this one. We start at the number 7, and we're going to count on until we reach 12. We start at 7 because that was the length of the shorter side, side A. And we're going to count on until we reach 12 because that was the length of the longer side, side B. Here we go. Are you ready to count on with me? Let's do it. 1, 2, 3, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We just counted on from seven to twelve. We took one, two, three, four, five jumps on our centimeter ruler to get from seven to twelve. That means that side B is five centimeters longer than side A. That's true. But we could also say side A is five centimeters shorter than side B. That's accurate as well. 
We use the count on strategy using our ruler to count on from our shortest side to our longest side to find the difference between the side A measurement and side B measurement. Let's look at another strategy for finding the difference between two lengths. Remember, we have this important information. We know that side A is about 7 centimeters long. We also know that side B is about 12 centimeters long. The strategy we're going to use this time is finding the difference. What does it mean to find the difference? Do you remember? When we find the difference, we subtract one number from another. That's the difference. We're subtracting. Let's take the longest side first, 12 centimeters. That's side B. You may notice I use the letters C, M. CM is short for centimeters. It's an abbreviation. It's a much shorter and quicker way to write centimeters than writing out the entire word. We'll use centimeters right here as an abbreviation, CM. 12 centimeters. Now remember, we're finding the difference, so we need to subtract the shortest side, which was side A, and it was seven centimeters, seven CM. Now we need to solve this. 12 subtract 7 equals, that's right, you got it, 5 centimeters. So we can say again, side B is 5 centimeters longer than side A. Or we could say side A is 5 centimeters shorter than side B. We found the difference. The difference was 5 centimeters. You are great. Way to go. You're going to have a chance to practice this on Seesaw. You will have some lines to measure using your centimeter ruler, and then you will be able to find the difference in the two lengths of the lines that you're provided on Seesaw. Head back to Seesaw. We're going to have a lot of fun. Let's get our work done so we can enjoy our birthday party.